going to do our best when it comes to recycling, don't we, guys? Yes. But who here finds it pretty confusing? Yes. yes. And it doesn't help when you see a logo like this that's got a lot of you in a spin. Oh, it worked. Thanks. For me, there is nothing more important than looking after the planet. And being a radio DJ and actor... You've butchered thousands of brain cells. Why? Because I can. ...has given me a platform to do something about it. Last month, I ran the London Marathon for UNICEF and the World Wildlife Foundation. But you don't have to break a sweat to do your bit. It can be just as simple as choosing the right bin for your rubbish. I do find it sad and frustrating when I hear about things that could be recycled, not getting recycled, and it ending up in landfill, or even worse, being burnt. And infuriatingly, I found one symbol that is on a huge amount of packaging here in the UK that is causing just that. Do you know what this emblem means? Yes, recycling. I think it means recycled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you'd see this on a product, would you put it in the recycling? Yes. Yeah. Well, they're all wrong. This does not necessarily mean that the product is recyclable at all. All right. That's, I'm going to be telling people about this because that's actually quite alarming. Yep. Shockingly, this misleading symbol, two green arrows intertwined, tells you nothing about how recyclable the product is. Uh, it's a mistake that I was making a few years ago, and that is why I am determined to help people understand and not make the same mistake. What feelings does that induce? <laughs> Anger, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And irritation. I love recycling. Why do we have it then if it's not telling us what we should know? You have to put it on a plastic bottle that cannot be recycled. Mm -hmm. It's a waste of time. Yeah. We look for that sign, and if it's got it, we presume it can be recycled. We might be doing it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, this symbol, trademark, logo, carries no weight or substance here in the UK. It means absolutely nothing, which makes me ask the question, why on earth are we putting it on products? It's called the green dot, but whether it is green, white or black, in most of Europe it means that the company using it on their product has paid some money to help fund recycling, not that the product itself is recyclable. But in the UK the government forces companies to help fund recycling packaging anyway. So this little dot literally has no meaning here. The company which licenses the symbol even admit it on their website. So they say that companies are allowed to use the green dot in the UK because packaging made here might be sent over to countries in Europe where you have to have it. To be honest, it feels to me like this is just an excuse for companies to use that green dot because they know it makes some of their products look greener than they actually are and it is used on some very unrecyclable things. Simon Ellen is the CEO of the Recycling Association. There's so many products out there that, that have got the green dot on them that, that can't be recycled. We've got the stickers here and the Twix with the, the green dot symbol, both of which are unrecyclable. Uncle Ben's rice, plastic outer, completely unrecyclable. It's got the, the green dot in there, Pringles tube. Five materials, metal base, cardboard outer, plastic lid, and you look at the back of the tube, no information of recyclability, but on there, the green dot. That, to me, looks like it's saying it's recyclable, it's not. And it's confusion like that which leads to people, like those I spoke to earlier, putting wrong things into recycling bins, which can be a nightmare when it comes to processing it. More papers, cartons, there's so much packaging here as well. Someone's thrown away a Harry Styles book. The direction is won't be pleased. But at least that is recyclable, unlike the stuff this lot have to pick out. These lads in here that are going to be taken out. Anything that has a green dot on it that can't be recycled but might have been put into a recycling bin. Tough job, though. Every year, we put 467,000 tonnes of non-recyclable rubbish into our recycling bins contaminating the useful waste at places like this. Looking at the green dot, how much of an impact does that symbol have on a massive plant like this? It becomes a real issue because obviously everyone is at home trying to make the right decision with their recycling when they've got something to get rid of. Mm -hmm. And if it's encouraging them to put the wrong things in their recycling, when it gets somewhere like here, yeah. we end up, and as you can see from all this in the background, we've got lots of items here that we can't separate and recycle. So we'll do everything we can to try and make sure it can be recycled. Yeah. But if it gets to the point where we physically can't do any more, then it will go off for energy recovery. That means it gets burnt. 
This little symbol goes against everything that we're trying to do with our recycling industry, and it's tough enough as it is. Yeah, it's really not helping. It's adding to that confusion. Yeah. And we know that contamination levels that we get in here are anywhere between 5 and 25 percent, depending on where it's coming from. That's so scary. So our worst, 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 you say nearly a quarter of it could end up being contaminated. Absolutely. Another load of recycling has just arrived, and it's easy to spot the stuff that shouldn't be here. So, something like this, and the only symbol it does have, is our little green dot. Could this be recycled? So this is a plastic film. Yeah. Generally, it's not recyclable. Oh, what have you got there? Pringle tube with our wonderful green dot. Now, I'm right in saying this sort of packaging is a real nightmare. It's an example. There's plenty others, but yeah, they're really difficult to recycle. No, I'm going to hold on to it because I don't want to slow down the plan. The scale of this problem is huge and this is an example of what is happening in recycling plants up and down the country. This little green dot is causing consumers to put non-recyclable waste in their recycling and it's causing a lot of confusion. Isn't it time to bin this green dot? Now, Kel Spellman, you've only been on the show for like five minutes and you've already got results. It's <laughs> beginner's luck. Results like this. Rice Company, Tilda, say they will remove the green dot from all their packaging. And Unilever, which makes everything, they say they're taking it off pot noodles. Yeah, I mean, that is a start, but they are responsible for a lot of packaging, so I don't understand why you wouldn't just take off all your products. Yeah. We contacted other companies on this too, uh, Kel, both Mars and Kellogg's, which makes Pringles, say that the green dot simply shows their members of a Europe-wide recycling system and they've contributed to the cost of recycling their packaging. They say they're careful not to suggest it means the packaging is recyclable. OK, I mean, yeah, fair enough. I mean, it's, it is reassuring that they're not, you know, doing it out of kind of that they're choosing to do it. Yeah. But at the same time, I've spoken to the people on the streets, consumers, the majority of them, do think it means recycling. So we're kind of we're stuck in the middle. It's difficult. And Valpac, the company that licenses the green dot in the UK, told us the decision to use the green dot is down to individual companies. Valpac says it makes clear the symbol is neither required nor relevant in this country and it discourages its use on UK-only products.